model one of the thing is to check and see if it's adhering to the design rules and if not fix those design rules you could run data model reports on these so you are going to check and you know generate a report in one of the output formats maybe in rpa also okay. export this relational model to a reporting schema which can then be accessed from the sql developer tool Now that the data is uh, that means we don't have any constraint among these uh, you know uh, defined uh, tables. Is there a way wherein I can uh, generate the DDL statement? I can, I mean, you know, we can generate. But is there a way to generate your diagram out of these two thousand odd tables, which are not directly related? I mean, data this does not know whether there is a relation or not. My RDL. I do want these tables to reflect in my RDL diagram. Yes, it will allow you to reflect. But as since you're saying that those constraints or that relationship is not existing, it does not reflect in the diagrams. Because if you see the ERD diagram that we showed over here, there was a relationship between, say, the employee table and the department table, and similarly between the project table and the department table. Since that kind of a relationship existed between those tables, it was reflecting in those relationship flow diagrams. So one, yeah. For first column and two eight six two one for fifteenth column. So this is the graph. One to fifty. This is the reason Oracle says frequently queried column should be on top. It is see the CPU cycle is because it is same block but skipping a skipping a column takes CPU cycles. I have to skip number of columns and then, and then go to the last column. So skipping a column take, takes. CPU cycles. Something so every CPU cycle it is 20 CPU cycles per column. Something like uh, decimal latency. Right. And plus the number of blocks from, comes into play as well. If you if you insert 50 rows, the num I, I had number of uh, blocks maybe 20, 25. So number of blocks are coming to picture. So it is as your data grows, as, as you as your volume grows, you will see some some growth in your CPU cycles as well. So this is the reason Oracle says. Frequent, frequently queried columns should be on top. So this example, when I when I plotted this graph, it was in Oracle 10G. So in Oracle 10G, uh, I had only 13 columns in all objects. So this is the reason it is for 13th column. But 11G, we had uh, two additional columns in this in all objects. All the templates are only for Oracle Enterprise Linux, not for Red Hat and all. So that version is also from 5.5.4, 5.5.5.6, 5.7. And recently, uh, even I tested in six. It's working, but it is not certified. So the thing is, like, it will take care of your cluster-based data, database, ASM, everything in the same uh, template file. So one more beauty thing is, like, normally you install Oracle Rack inst Rack uh, instance, and after that you will apply a lot of recommended patches, right? Here it is. All patches are included. Like I'll show you what are the patches included. So enter. I have no idea why no one would join a user group. Um, some people are are truly nine to five programmers, and and you know what? That that's okay. I one of my one of my best friends say, I I I write code. I program only enough to feed my mountain climbing habit and my mountain biking habit, and my rock climbing habit, and things like that. And there do need to be people in the world that do those kinds of things. But the people who want to get better at their craft, not just cash a paycheck at the end of the week, but they want to get 
better and they want to learn new techniques and new concepts and new libraries and they want to hear not only professionals speak, professional authors speak on these technologies, but the people in their community speak about these things. When I run my user groups, I make sure I not only have professionals speak, but I make sure we always get people from the community speaking. Um, if you learn how to do communication skills, if you learn how to speak intelligently about a topic, it'll help you get promoted in your job. And there are some things that you learn and you know like this, but when you're forced to explain like that, you learn it much more deeply. So there are so many benefits to being a member of the user group. I think it's equally valid for students as it well as for business professionals.